here's a few more touch marks for you to enjoy and uh, towards the end also an electric style branding iron customer has two this one is a smaller size without the ring around it uh, I probably went a little bit too deep with this one This Celtic or Celtic cross, however you want to say it, is a good example of how fine lines work really well. They imprint really easily. This long horn is really nice. Again, I probably imprinted it just a little bit too deep though. So in addition to this really wonderful touch mark, this long horn, this gentleman also purchased a branding iron also made by the engraver this is solid brass and it's attached to a soldering type iron that plugs into 110 so I'm going to give that a go right now and try to burn it into a piece of wood and see the result okay so this thing is pretty hot can feel the heat coming off of it. It's got an on-off switch. You can see it's even smoking just a little bit. So let's give it a go. I got ROT designs, but I don't have my uh, longhorn. You've got to actually, if it's not completely flat, you've got to rock it a bit. Also, I think I've had it on a little bit too long. He says start with about 10 minutes and then work down from that if it's too heavy or up from that if it's too light. So let's try again and I'll rock it a little bit. Getting a little better. I got a long horn with one horn. All right, one last one here. Let's see. I'm going to try to go a little bit quicker even, I think. Wow, almost. Just missed the middle now. So you, you've really got to play around with this, depending on what you're uh, trying to burn this into, if it's leather or wood or whatever it might be. I'm going to shut it off. Well, getting there. Getting there. And one final thing is with this sort of thing, you always want to make it sh make sure you shut it off when you're done. Otherwise, the element will continue to heat up and then it'll burn itself out. And better yet, unplug it. So, of course, I'm going to try it again. There we go. 